Let's get you caught up on the latest Dallas Mavericks news and rumors. I'm your host, Harrison Graham. Welcome into the show. Jalen Brunson continues to be the story in Dallas and one of the bigger stories across the NBA, trailing just Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant. Mark Stein via his Substack says, look, it's 50-50 between the Mavs and the Knicks for Brunson. Claims only Brunson and his dad for sure know what's going on right now. They're keeping it, their cars very close to their chest. Of course, his dad, Rick Brunson, is an assistant coach with the New York Knicks now, and uh, free agency opens this Thursday, 6 Eastern, 5 Central, so we should have a clearer picture at that point in time. Here's Stein uh, on his Substack. The Knicks have unquestionably positioned themselves as a very real threat to the Mavericks, but presumably only Brunson and his father, Knicks assistant coach Rick Brunson, know precisely where things stand. When it comes to the Knicks, expected four-year offer to Brunson worth at least $100 million, as well as Dallas's ability to zoom comfortably past that mark as the only team that can furnish a five-year deal. These things off often come down to two things, in my opinion. Of course, there's other factors, but they come down to two things. Number one, money. Number two, fit. That's it when it comes to these players. And the number one usually is the trump card, which Dallas can actually offer more because they can go into the luxury tax and they can offer a fifth year. Uh, but fit is very important as well. And as we outlined on Dallas Mavericks today on a video, I believe on Friday, there's pros and cons to staying in Dallas versus going to New York. There very, very much is. Pros of staying in Dallas. Mavs are a playoff contender. That's number one. I think Dallas gives you a more immediate chance to win right away than a team like the New York Knicks do. This team is very tight-knit. Uh, they get along very well. Um, we saw that last year with the bench mob and all of that stuff. Uh, no state income tax. I think that's relevant. Uh, Brunson will be able to keep more of his money on his contract here in Dallas versus New York. Cons of staying in Dallas. Won't ever be the number one option. Less room to grow as a player, playing next to Luka Doncic. Uh, and, of course, he won't get to play under his dad, which is obviously a unique opportunity. That leads us to the pros and cons of going to New York. Uh, he has a chance to become the star player there. He would get to play under his dad, Rick Brunson. Uh, the ability to potentially become a superstar there, since he would be the primary uh, ball handler on offense, certainly offers more opportunity. The cons, Knicks have been an unstable franchise for over 20 years. There's more pressure of playing at the Garden and in. NYC, and he won't have good teammates around him like Luka to work off of. Not to that level, at least. Obviously, R.J. Barrett's a good young player, and they presumably could get some other pieces as well, but it's obviously a different ball game. I'll continue to say this. The Mavs offer Brunson the best chance to win, and I think financially can offer the most money. Now, is Dallas going to go up to $30 million per year? I don't know. That remains to be seen, but again, they're already going into the luxury tax, so they can pay 30, hell, $35 million a year for Brunson if they want to. It's just a matter of if they want to and how high the Knicks are willing to go and just what Jalen Brunson wants at the end of the day. Is this more about money or if it's about an opportunity to get to do more within the flow of an offense? If it's the latter, honestly, the Knicks give him more room to develop as a player. So who's going to get Brunson? I think it's 50-50. Mark Stein thinks it's 50-50. We'll see what happens. Type DAL for the Mavericks. Type NYK for the New York Knicks. I still think Dallas has a good chance here, but I'm obviously less confident than I was even just a few days ago. Now, Mavericks fans, uh, we'll get to see this all unfold once NBA free agency gets going this Thursday, June 30th, so be sure to join us live on Chat Sports, youtube.com slash chat sports TV. Myself, Chase Sr., the entire Chat Sports staff will get you guys caught up on everything, every deal that happens, and of course, if the Mavericks make a move, we'll have you covered on that as well. Let's catch you guys up on the latest Kyrie Irving rumors here as things are starting to heat up around the Brooklyn Net Stars report, uh, Brooklyn Net Star, I should say, report out of New York that the Nets have given Kyrie permission to seek sign-in trade packages. Uh, the teams that Kyrie are interested in, uh, Lakers, Mavs, Knicks, 76ers, among those teams that have been on his radar now, I think what's pretty clear at this point in time, and there's a lot of new information that we're going to get to here, is that Kyrie 
is very unlikely to be in Brooklyn moving forward. Now, this was the list that Woj uh, reported was uh, Kyrie's list last week. Dallas Mavericks, L.A. Clippers, L.A. Lakers, Miami Heat, New York Knicks, and Philadelphia 76ers. Now, Adrian Wojnarowski also reported that the Mavs, Clippers, and 76ers aren't interested at this point in time. Uh, and then also the Knicks and Heat showed little interest, a pretty unlikely Knicks are uh, going heavily after J Jalen Brunson. That's been their priority, at least as of late could pursue Kyrie as well they've got the trade uh, pieces to certainly do that if they want to but uh, sounds like they aren't that interested at this point in time now let me ask you this where will Kyrie Irving play next season could it still be with the Nets is it going to be the Lakers where else could he end up he's got a player option for Wednesday the 29th to opt in and seek a trade or opt out and uh, potentially sign somewhere in free agency. But, of course, he could risk losing $36.5 million, which is what his player option is worth. Predict it for us. Where will Kyrie Irving play this upcoming season? Now, Adrian Wojnarowski also reports this when it comes to Kyrie. Uh, according to ESPN sources, outside of the Lakers, there are currently no known teams planning pursuit of sign-in trades for Kyrie Irving. No sign-in trades can be formally discussed until after 6 o'clock on Thursday. Uh, Brooklyn isn't believed to have interest in available Lakers packages. Woj also added this. If, I, if Irving, excuse me, declines his $36 million player option, he would be eligible to sign with the Lakers for the $6 million taxpayer's exception. Deadline is Wednesday to decide on an option. Let me just say this. And look, who knows, right? Kyrie is impossible to predict. I would be floored if Kyrie Irving played on the taxpayer's mid-level. He can opt in for 36 and a half. You're telling me he's going to opt out because he doesn't think he can find a sign-and-trade and sign for $6 million? Why would he do that? That makes no sense whatsoever. Now, you know, Kyrie has said the earth is flat before, so, you know, he doesn't always have the clearest thoughts on these things, but you talk about someone's money, that's a $30 million difference there. This feels like the Lakers are bust, at least right now. Things could change. Does a team like Dallas or New York show interest uh, based on who loses the Jalen Brunson sweepstakes? Maybe. That could be a possibility as well. But the Lakers consistently from the beginning here have been the team that have shown interest because they have Russell Westbrook. And if they can move Russ and get Kyrie, even with all the stuff Kyrie Irving comes with in terms of the distractions and the you know randomly being unavailable and things like that, that's still a clear upgrade over Russell Westbrook. I think we all know that. I think we all believe that. So, uh, you know, I think the Lakers are the clear front runners here, even though a trade is more difficult because you do have Russell Westbrook. But I think they're motivated enough to get something done. And I think if something does get done, it'll be from the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, subscribe to our team channels. A lot of our uh, uh, teams that we cover have been linked to Kyrie Irving. The Lakers report approaching 47,000 subscribers. Go subscribe. Subscribe over there if you're a part of Laker Nation, youtube.com slash Lakers TV. If you're a Warriors fan, youtube.com slash Warriors TV just crossed 33,000 subscribers over there. Dallas Mavericks today has been red hot with uh, coverage uh, videos every day right there. YouTube.com slash Mavs TV. Celtics today is approaching 10,000 subscribers. Help us get there if you're a C's fan. YouTube.com slash Celtics TV. And then Knicks now and 76ers now. YouTube.com slash Knicks TV and YouTube.com slash 76ers TV are six teams that we have specific channels to. And hey, here's the deal. If you're a fan of another team, go support these channels. Maybe your team could be next. Kai Soto did not get drafted in the NBA draft, but there's some rumors out there, some buzz around whether or not he'll sign with a team in the summer league after being uh, not picked in last week's NBA draft. Uh, now, initially, his agent came out and said that he will not play in the summer league. Kai Soto uh, tweeted out after my agent misspoke. I have not made a firm decision yet. Now, he then d deleted that tweet, so could that signal that he's not going to play in the summer league? Possibly, but he hasn't completely dismissed it. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see what happens on that front. Kai Soto did tweet this a couple of days ago. Uh, not the outcome that we wanted, talking about not getting picked, but it's what I needed. My vision became clear, and I believe in God's plans for me. I'm far from over, and I'm not stopping till I get to fulfill my dreams. Obviously, he's got the Filipino uh, flag there as well. Here's what I'll say. 
Kai Soto should play in the Summer League. I think it would benefit him greatly. He could show uh, NBA uh, scouts and coaches what his skill set is, what he's all about, uh, not only as a player, but as a potential teammate as well. I think it would be a great and unique opportunity. Even if after the Summer League he decides, ah, I'm going to stay overseas, I'm going to play uh, for the 36ers in Adelaide for a couple more years, okay, great, and continue to develop, you can do that. But sign with an NBA team and play in the Summer League. I think that would benefit Kai Soto very, very much, and I think it would would be the right decision for him in his career. Do you want your favorite team, I meant to say sign Kai Soto, do you want your favorite team to sign him? Uh, I think a lot of you guys wanted him to draft him. Like this video if you would like to see your favorite team sign Soto for the NBA Summer League. Now you looked at his numbers from last year, Seven and a half points, 4.4 rebounds. He can stretch the floor as a pretty good shooter from deep, 38 and a half percent. Now, you know, he, he gets stuck on switches, and that can be a little challenging defensively, but when he's able to just uh, defend the paint, decent rim protector as well. And here's the deal about Kai Soto, and I understand the passion behind it and why he was frustrated and why fans were frustrated as well, because he's got a whole country behind him. I mean, he's got a chance to be the first uh, – Filipino NBA player in NBA history. That, that's a lot of pressure and a lot of expectations around him, and that is why he should play in the Summer League. So, Kai, if you're watching, get with the team, get with your agent, get on board, and let's play in the Summer League. Let's see what you can bring to the table. I want to see it. We're going to cover the Summer League here at Chat Sports, and uh, we would be fired up if he played in the Summer League and we got to see what he could bring to the table for these teams. Uh, I think a lot of teams would be very interested in bringing him on board. Up to him if he wants to do that or not. Predict it for us. Will Kai Soto play in the NBA Summer League? Type P for play. Type W for won't. I don't think he's going to, which is a bit disappointing. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section.